All right, yeah, uh, well, maybe we can get back on topic here and say, okay, so the idea of building a tech community, you can, you know, come in and talk to my group. Um, you have all kinds of interests with, you know, open source, and you have a particular product that you have an open source because, you know, it's, it's got yeah, code, it's got bad own. code. And, and sometimes there's other tools that you can use for your computer. A lot of people want to know, how do I get my computer more secure? Um, one of the talks I did, I call Protecting the Digital You. I've got a whole presentation to it. It's just different things to protect your computer. It, it scales well. It's for a business. It's for personal. It works either way. So you don't have to. Right. So it, the general user can use this perfectly fine. It's great concepts in there. Well, so there are certain topics that lend themselves to several subtopics. And so, you know, security, there's a, a ton of stuff out there. We've got one of our members who just uh, committed to coming in and, and talking about internet security, you know, general public, yes. how do you protect yourself when you're using the internet? Um, so, you know, then if we had additional topics around it, we could maybe put in like a series of things. I mean, oh yeah, the, the, one of the, what, what came out, so I did the Protecting the Digital View, I've done, I talked to a couple different places, and uh, what's come out of that, is what people get, they, they go through the talk, they really want to know more, they bring me back, go back a couple slides, go to that LastPass thing, what is that? Have you ever used LastPass? Uh, no, I haven't. One of the most brilliant password managers I've seen. There's now been a couple of copycat companies. I don't, I'm not vetted them to tell you if they do the same thing as LastPass does. Um, but I use it for last, I use LastPass for all my passwords. It generates gibberish for every password for every website, which is great. But a lot of people, as soon as you say password manager, this is where they, um, hello. The uh, password managers, well, the problems they have is, well, what if someone compromises LastPass? They have everything I have. Yeah. LastPass did this very clever. They never have your passwords. They don't want them. They, when they came up with the company, they said, like, we need to come up with a way not to have people's passwords. We want to a password manager, but we don't want to know the passwords. And by doing that, they can never be compelled by a government body to give up your passwords. If they get compromised, it completely doesn't matter because they don't have your password. The downside to doing that, if when you set your master password phrase, there is no way for them to recover. They're like, look, we just don't know your password phrase. It's not part of it. Um, what they do is they have a browser. So in browser, it decrypts all of your passwords as a plugin with never sending it to them. They only pass between all your different sessions, your phone, the encrypted blob back and forth. Yeah. So they only see, they see changes in the blob, no problem. They re-update your password list. But they have no idea what password you have or anything like that. Yeah, well, so I have you know, problems managing passwords, and I don't know if you know, that particular one is the one that would solve the issues I have. But uh, you know, certainly it would be interesting. I trust it so well, and it's been vetted by including people like Bruce Schneier. Leading security people have looked at LastPass and say they did it right. Yeah. And once you get that blessing from those guys, you know, I'm not a coder to well enough to look at the encryption used and say that was, I know the encryption, but I couldn't look at the map used to it. But there's people who have vetted it. Uh, LastPass is very open about how they did everything. They're not worried about being open to be attacked. They're like, look, we just open it up and let these security guys look at everything and they go, those guys did it right. Yeah. And it's really nice because it's cross-platform, it's, you know, Windows. It's also really, really easy for the users. So there's really a low, low learning curve. Um, you can have an old person who's not very technology savvy sit down and start using LastPass immediately. Yeah. It actually makes it easier for them because they don't have to remember passwords to any websites and it auto fills all their websites as they go. When you open up the browser, it pops up and says, What's your master password? And you come up with a master password phrase. Type it in. Boom. It's logged in. That's it. Every website thereafter, you're not asked anymore. It can auto fill, log you in. Come to a new website, auto generates the password. Well, I keep seeing this thing that pops up. So, do you want me to remember this password? And I keep you, saying no. I don't right. want to do that. It actually one of the nice things. The last pass it asks you when you load it as a plugin. So, would you like to turn this off? If you have all of them saved in a browser, which are a horrible place to save your passwords, it will ask you to turn them off if you want to, and it'll import all of them out and delete them out of the browser. Because obviously, the scary thing is if you open up your browser, you can get all of our passwords. That's a scary thing. Yeah. The other thing too, I'm sitting here, I've got, I got a Chromebook, i got a laptop, and i got a desktop at work that I do all my editing and stuff on. Change a password right now to anything. If I want to change my Facebook, I change it, close the lid, I'm on the internet. It's synchronized with all my other computers immediately. So when I log in over there. Yeah. Um, well, that's one of the problems I have. A lot of different computers, yes, a lot of different things. I've it works on Android, iPhone, 
and every Mac. Uh, they even have, a, I think someone said they have a Blackberry plugin too. I'm not positive on that, but it works with your major, all your major browsers, whether you want to use Firefox, Internet Explorer, uh, I think they have an Apple plugin, I'm not positive, or Chrome. So you got, you got all of those covered. Um, it's automatic synchronization between all the browsers. So you got that. So we're, we're on technical, building technical communities. I don't know if that's what you're, <coughs> you're talking about. So we're just talking about topics that we could get a, a group of people interested in talking about, you know, so um, basically getting different user groups together and stuff like that. I was just suggesting this one topic for an uh, interest group uh, to get together on. So I don't know what your background, what your interest is in this, but uh, so I'm, you know, I'm running a, a local user group and uh, he's got a business and he's uh, got some you know, discussions and topics that he's presented before. Well, I'm a member of the Southeast Michigan Computer Organization, so okay. and, Oh, okay, and yes. And that's called LastPass. LastPass, great, great. Product. Well, so one of the things is I'm, I'm also uh, building a, a, so like a community around uh, the Dearborn Library. So we've got this arrangement that our computer club can use the library's facilities, but we have to provide workshops. So one of the things is, well, they have a lot of seniors that like to come to their computer presentations and stuff. A lot of people in the community that uh, they can advertise to. And, so I'm trying to come up with topics that people would like to hear, you know. So I'm trying to find out, okay, what types of things do people want to, you know, have presentations on this. So like, I can provide various types of things. I know people I might be able to convince to come in, and I'm having trouble getting people to convince to that, but who, who out there has some ideas of things that they'd like to see? And then we can sort of work it both ways. Yeah, I, I have no problem doing a presentation on security with a, uh, I talk about a few other security topics, because last past, Depending on how tech savvy the crowd is, how many questions they have, but I focus a lot on LastPass as a solution. Um, the, they, they actually have a good business model um, for your browsers, synchronizes all your browsers, that's free. They do, it's ad supported, it does have ads in there. Um, the ads are off to the side, they're not compromising any of your data or anything like that. But for $12 a year, which is really cheap, I mean a dollar a month, you prepay $12 a year, um, they take away the ads, and you have a full paid support version. And you can unless and the uh, support version adds Android support too. You don't get Android support unless you pay the um, twelve dollars a year. But that's a pretty minimal amount for managing all of your passwords across every device you yeah. have. Um, I trust LastPass so much. I have my credit card in it. One of the fill form options is whenever it comes to a site with my credit card, it fills in my credit card form. And the reason I do that is because I don't like Comcast. Take them for example. If I leave my credit card in for auto billing. What if Comcast gets compromised? They have a giant collection of credit cards for auto billing, any of these websites. So now I uncheck the auto bill every month feature and I let it fill in. I don't want, we do it because we don't want to type in our credit card every time. LastPass takes care of that for me. It fills in my credit card automatically when you go to websites, and away you go. Now, it also supports, and this I use in my business, um, password sharing. So password sharing I take with my employees. I have an eBay account for my business. Well, if I change the password on an eBay account, I have to then let, hey, uh, Ben, I changed the password on an eBay account. Oh, Steve, I changed the password on eBay. I said, well, I'm telling them. Simple solution. They all use LastPass as well. I can share my account with them, and it's synchronized. I can revoke it at any time. Yeah. So if I suddenly decide I don't want them on my account, I can do a revocation, and just in case they have the password saved, and, I mean, there's ways to extract it out if you hack around with it. I can change my eBay password, revoke it from them, and now they wouldn't be able to get there. But mostly I use that on convenience because there's different portal accounts I have, different contracts I have with companies. So I can just reshare the password with the employees that need access to that as well. And it makes it easy delegation. If you have a Hulu account, for example, you want to share with your family, it applies the same way. And we do. We have we use Hulu because we, we cut the cord years ago. We don't have cable TV or anything. But if they want the kids want to be able to log into Netflix and log into Hulu. Instead of having to tell them the password each time, you can just share it with LastPass. They have it, they share it, and the way they go, they can now log in as well. So it's got some really cool, easy to use features. And because it becomes transparent, it's just a plugin, they load it, you have to remember their master password phrase, which just goes right in there. Um, it also, like I said, it, it doesn't just fill credit cards. You can set up profiles to fill up all kinds of form fill options, custom options. There's a lot of tweaking if you want to get to the advanced, but on the simple side, it's just real easy. And that's, 
That's it. generating new passwords. It automatically prompts you. Would you like us? You've never been to this website before. It needs a password. Would you like us to generate one for you? Or when you get those, uh, like with Heartbleed, lots of places ask you to change your password again. Well, it went through there, and anytime they, you put, go, as soon as you go to that change password page, LastPass fills in your current password as soon as you open up that form and does that. It also does something where people get caught up in these phishing scams. It does a great job of protecting you from that. LastPass does a great job of checking the URL and making sure everything's legit and that the security certificate matches and that it's SSL and the SSL certificate matches the time you generated the password. So they go through this check. So if you took, for example, a lot of people get compromised on those fake PayPal ones. You click the link, it looks like PayPal's website. It's a copy. Um, the URL is obscured, so it's some long bar at the top. You can't tell what website you're really at. LastPass won't fill in the password, so this is PayPal. So it won't fill in your password, and you would have to jump through hoops to try and get it in there. So you realize right away, that's definitely got to be a phishing site. So it can actually help protect you because so many people, they've lost their PayPal, lost their Hotmail, lost their, uh, there's, I don't know why Hotmail is so particularly attacked, but we see so many people that have lost their Hotmail password because they get an email, it took them to site this and changed their password, and it didn't fill in, so they type in their username, type in their password, and it says thank you, and boom, all it did was log it from a hacked website, and now they compromised their account. Yeah. You know, things like that, that's just. Yeah. So does that sound like something interesting that we could? Yeah. Get? I have your phone number? <laughs> I tell you what. Uh, so is. I'm trying to get him to present to our group. Now, I, well, you know, I also know the Senco team, right? Okay. Go, uh, if you go to the website, there's a click on my blog, and there's a, there's a write up on LastPass with a YouTube tutorial on how to use it. I've already posted it on there, but it, I did a good job on YouTube, I think. But there's still more to talk about things like that. And if you're interested in this topic, I'd love to discuss it. So. Okay, when it changes your password, do you ever know what all your passwords are? Oh, yeah. Are? Yeah, if you want to come see it, Rebecca, I'll show you. It's really easy. Okay, well, I'm going to cancel, end out the, you were supposed to end it 10 minutes to the uh, end of the hour, so cancel, killing the the meeting, the yeah. official part of this thing. Thank you, appreciate it. Does this, does this work for you guys, you know, to come in and talk about tech communities? Okay. Yep.